Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over um, the fundamentals of QEV operation and the, the reason that I'm doing this, I've kind of touched on this in multiple videos um, that I've done before, um, but this is strictly going to be just about QEV. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because um, despite what I thought about that last video I uploaded and people not liking it, you know, I, I thought people weren't going to watch it, uh, but I, I actually received, for me at least, uh, quite a bit of substantial uh, positive feedback. There was one person who disliked it so far. I'm sure there'll be more. Uh, so, I'm going to show you, and I plan on making a couple of these videos. Probably three is kind of how I'm looking at it currently. So yeah, this is going to be my fundamental series about uh, different uh, air gun components. And here is my cat making an appearance, as per usual. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. This is a QEV, and this is one that I made. Uh, I haven't shown a video of me making it, and honestly, I didn't record one of me making it. Uh, but this is an eighth-inch NPT tapped uh, QEV. It's made out of solid brass. Uh, I will be using this in a future project. It, this thing should be able to handle way more pressure than I can generate currently. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get into it. So a QEV, any QEV you get is going to have uh, three ports on it, and um, they're going to be mostly in s some kind of configuration like this. Uh, so I will show you those three right now. Here's one on the front, here's one on the bottom, and here is one on the back. Uh, and these uh, ports will probably be labeled one of three or one of two different ways. Um, and I will describe those to you now, and I will tell you the function of them. Uh, depending on the manufacturer of the QEV will depend on what the port is labeled as, and it may not even be labeled at all, but it's probably most likely going to have one of two labels. This port, uh, most normally located on the bottom or the top, I guess, depending on how you orient it, uh, is going to be the uh, either labeled A or out. And that is where your chamber goes, um, so your, your, your reservoir. Um, and that, so that's where the air is held once it enters the QEV. And generally, that is uh, the volume that is going to, when the QEV opens, that is the volume that's going to leave the barrel. Uh, so saying leave the barrel, we'll go into the port here on the front of it. And that port is either going to be called R or exhaust. And just as I said before, that's where your barrel is going to attach, is to the R or exhaust port. And then finally, uh, the port on the back of it is called the P or the N. And in general, that's going to be your fill and pilot port. So you're going to both fill from there and pilot from there. Now there are variations um, of what we can do with this. I did touch on that in my previous video. I'll also go into it on this one just in case. Uh, you're new to watching my channel and don't feel like watching a 30 minute video. Hopefully this one isn't that long. Uh, but I'm going to take this thing apart now and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so this is it taken apart as you can see here. Um, hopefully my camera will focus here a little bit. We've got uh, this part which is a normal thread. These aren't NPT. This is just a normal thread. I forgot what I made this off the top of my head. Then we have an O-ring inside of a groove and that uh, just threads into here and once it hits there, um, it, it's the O-ring starts to engage and it gets a lot harder to turn and that is just to seal it. Um, so anyway, pull that off. And then on the inside, we have the piston, or as I sometimes refer to it as the diaphragm. Um, and once again, this is just a solid, solid brass piston here with um, a piece of rubber glued onto the front of it and I use a special glue uh, to glue rubber to brass or aluminum uh, or even plastic. Uh, it's a type of cyan or acrylate but um, if you want more details on that let me know in a comment and I'll, I'll post up exactly what I use. It does work very very well uh, for attaching rubber to uh, metals and plastics. So anyway uh, I'll go into the fundamentals of the QEV operation right now really quick and in fact we'll show you like this. So imagine that this is threaded in and this is here. Uh, okay so what would normally happen uh, in a normal setup that most people would use is like I said you fill and pilot 
Um, oh, sorry, let me get this more in view for here for you guys. You fill and pilot from the back here. So what happens is uh, this piston or diaphragm is able to uh, move back and forth inside of the QEV. Uh, it has a fairly limited travel, but it can move back and forth. So what ends up happening is when you start to fill from the back here, there, remember you have a chamber on this side coming out of your uh, chamber port, also known as A on some of them. So you have a chamber here, you start filling from the rear, and what happens is the piston moves forward and the rubber face on it seals against uh, this plug here and seals the output of the barrel and then um, the air sneaks by the piston and through a hole in this port and fills up your chamber. Then when you're ready to fire, um, you dump the volume behind the piston and the piston scoots back and it seals against the back here. Uh, it's just flat back here. The hole is flat and it seals against that, um, so it just dumps a little bit of air behind there, enough for this thing to fly back. Um, when this flies back, the air from your chamber comes up, uh, and it escapes through that port and out of your barrel. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I've pretty much covered that. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll go over something else. So, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, in fact, the one right before this, uh, there are multiple ways that you can fill a QEV. 99% uh, of people I've seen do it, they fill from uh, the P or N port. Um, the other way you can do it is you can fill from your A or out port or chamber. Um, and in order to do that, what you have to do, uh, either you have to make one yourself. Uh, mine has loose enough tolerances where air will escape um, past the piston and go into the uh, P port. Uh, otherwise, what you have to do, and you, you can see this in one of my previous videos, is you actually have to drill uh, in, in ones that aren't made, in ones that you're going to buy, this piece is mostly going to be, um, it's going to have a rubber uh, over mold over it. And what happens is if you try filling from your A port, your chamber port, um, the diaphragm, the, the rubber on it will actually expand and will seal it and nothing will happen. Uh, so what you actually have to do is you have to drill a tiny, tiny little hole through the, the very edge of the rubber and what that does is it's an equalization hole and it allows you to fill through your chamber side and you still have your chamber on there you just have a fill port on here as well and it allows you to fill from your chamber side um, what happens is at, at the very first this all happens really really instantaneously at the very first um, second of it filling uh, the pressure would actually go in front of the piston and then it would start escaping out the barrel uh, but then what happens is pressure kind of starts to build up right there because you're filling faster than it can generally escape and so what happens is then it uh, starts flowing through that hole it starts creating pressure behind the piston and the piston then moves forward and seals against the barrel and then you're good to go so yeah that is going to be it for this video uh, I hope you found it educational and informational. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I will try and get back to them as quickly as possible. Uh, if you found this video helpful, um, feel free to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. My next video will probably be about uh, three-way valves, three-way two-position valves, and those are uh, an ideal way to trigger and fire your uh your QEV gun. Um, the nice part about them too is that they uh, will, depending on how you do it, uh, they will enable multi-shot um, capacity from, from one chamber. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.